Hi girl, welcome back to the channel. Today, it's you and I, as well as a baby. And we're gonna do some mini twists, just like the good old times where I just kinda sat down, turned on the camera, and talked to you, except that we also have a little company. I started doing my mini twist last night, and I washed my hair, I conditioned my hair, I put in some leave-in conditioners, and I have a butter right here, which is the butter. Do, 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 do. Oh. Which is the butter that I <laughs> do, 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 do. Anyways, all that to say, I started doing mini twists last night. I did just a small portion, and then I was like, girl, I gotta go to bed. Instead of doing my hair last night, I thought, you know, why don't I just do it with a baby? And she'll be minding her business, and I'll be minding mine. But as it turns out, she wants to mind my business and drop my phone, drop my butter, grab my glasses. Ma'am, ma'am, what? Hey. Come here, come here instead. Let me talk to you. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to. Oh, what a cutie. Mama's trying to do mini twists in her hair. It's funny. Instead of doing my hair last night, I thought that would be perfect to just do it now. Is that so? I did her hair the other day, y'all, and you would never guess, first of all, because look at it. It's super cute how her hair just doesn't really stay. It's cute though, and I really love doing it. It's a whole other topic. This is supposed to be about mini twists. Don't touch that. No, don't touch that either. Do, 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 do. I'm sure it was going on with my hair though. I'm actually very surprised that I was able to sleep with these clips in my hair. Literally. Like, I started doing this for real, for real, y'all. Like, I parted my hair and I was like, I'm just gonna do this as I wash the TV, which is typically how I do my mini twist. It goes by super fast that way. And I don't know what happened. I just did this and I was like, I need to go to bed. When it comes to going to sleep now, like, it just hits me. I'll be just fine. I'll eat, I'll relax, oh, you know, I have time, let me just watch a few episodes of a show. And then it's like instant. It hits you and you gotta go. I'll show you how much I have done. And it's super shrunken because I started doing it with my hair wet, but now it's gonna be very interesting because my hair is dry. I don't mind the shrinkage, but my hair is typically a little bit more malleable when it's wet. I love you so much. My life will never be the same. Tools I'm gonna be using is a rat tail comb. That's typically all that I use. I part my hair horizontally with the tool and then I just separate the twist with my fingers. I typically find that that works best. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am going to do the back of my hair and then I'll be back. I'm already tired. I've only done like, I don't know, 10 twists. How did I do this before? I used to do this all the time. And I don't remember my hands hurting so badly. So soon in the process. Like, am I gonna be able to finish this today? Are my hands rusty? <sighs> I am hoping to give my hair a little break with these mini twists. And it's not like I've been doing a lot with my hair, but I did several wash and goes back to back. And I did some styles. Honestly, everything I've done to my hair is on YouTube because <laughs> I always film when I do my hair now. And I kind of been enjoying keeping my hair content that way because y'all know it's been a little crazy lately with the whole no oil and butter thing. <laughs> I'm staying out of it now, I think, at least temporarily. I did ask in the community to get some professionals on the couch and I have a few things in the work, but after that's done, I am most likely gonna take a little break from the whole thing. Just a lot of drama, back and forth. People don't want to hear it. And, well, some people don't, I, I should say, because the reality is this is a major rift in the natural hair community. You know, like some people are very much pro, which there are some pros, but I, I just feel like you need to be aware of the cons if this is the journey that you are going to set your hair on. You know, you're gonna have to trim your hair more often. You are most likely going to experience some damage if you're gonna do wash and goes back to back. It's just a reality of leaving our hair out. YouTube University already figured all of that out. It's just repackaged in a different way and now you're seeing the same issues come back. <sighs> but how are you doing? Oh my God, I feel like we haven't really sat down and talked in a while. 
I'm okay. <laughs> I am going through motherhood. Motherhood is going through me, I should say. Oh, it's a little too quiet back there. <laughs> you know, when it's too quiet, you can't trust what they're doing. Motherhood is going through me. My baby is about to be one year old. One year old next month. That's what's been eating me out. The fact that it's already been a whole year since I've been a mom. It makes me so emotional just thinking about it. My God, it's already been a whole year. And the fact that my baby's a year old, it's, it makes me happy, but also so emotional. I feel like every single day, I go through all of these emotions all at the same time. Is that what motherhood is? Like I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm overwhelmed, I'm content, I'm lost, I'm found, all in one day. <laughs> it's crazy. By the way, did I show you the butter that I'm using? It's the Carol's Daughter. I'll put it on the screen at some point. But yeah, and with motherhood, I think the hardest part actually has just been the transition into being a mom. Like I still feel like I'm transitioning. And actually, I think the transition feels much longer than it would have been if I surrendered and was like, this is my life, I'm a mom. Because the way society is set up is that you're going to snap back, you're going to go back. You're looking for a sense of normalcy, which is who you used to be. And the reality is when you become a mother, the person that you used to be is no longer there. That's just the reality. You will never be a woman who hadn't had a child. It's a harsh truth. And I think the earlier we accept that, the easier the transition would be because you wouldn't be going through this transition looking back, trying to go back to who you used to be, trying to get your old body back, trying to feel like what you used to feel like, trying to do the things that you used to do, trying to enjoy the things that you used to enjoy because then you'll understand that this is a new journey everything is going to be new but as we go through it and we feel all these pressures to go back and feel normal and still resonate with the person that we used to be i think it just prolongs the whole journey because that's been like my biggest challenge becoming a mother because i keep asking myself who are you jen who am i and the question that my therapist <laughs> I saw that happen. No, that did not feel good. Better. We're better now. All right, let's go play. Okay, I guess we'll be back. All right, we're back. Baby's in bed, she's napping. She, let me check on her. You know what she does? She be pretending to nap. She's not asleep yet, she's just chilling. I did the back of my hair. Let me show you. Okay. And you know what? I was like, Jen, you gotta pace yourself. I felt like I was doing them so small. And I was like, uh, who's gonna take these out? Few things that should determine how small your mini twist should be. Your patience and the takedown. Okay, you gotta think ahead. Oh yeah, it's cool in the moment to do them small, but who's gonna take them out in like two, three weeks? Oh, and also how long you wanna keep them in. You get a little more length, longevity, if you do them small. But like I said, who's gonna take them out? I'm gonna keep working on it. So I'm gonna work right in the middle of my head right now. Add some water, that's basically what I do. Because my hair is dry, I washed it yesterday. The part that I did when my hair was wet, ironically enough, it's hanging a little straighter than the other one. That one's giving curly fries. <laughs> All right, so what was I talking about? It was a very deep topic, deep conversation around motherhood. Transition into motherhood, I feel like it would be a lot easier if we weren't fighting it. At least that's what I've been doing. I feel like a lot of moms do that because I kind of feel like as human beings, because what used to be is what's familiar to us. So in the back of our minds, we keep comparing. And that's where I am right now um, at what, 11 months postpartum? Well, first of all, the first eight months of postpartum, literally it's you blinking and then, and then you're like, what? Y'all know the meme with the man blinking? That's basically what the first eight months is. And then after that, you're like, okay, this is my new normal. It's not bad. I, I, can, I can work with this. You know, your baby's sleeping. You have a good little routine with them, hopefully, and you're smooth sailing. And I think that's where our mind starts racing, because then you you have a little time on your hands. You know, you're not you're not fighting for survival no more. So then you start thinking about where's my life going, what am I doing? Especially with us working moms too. We at least 
for me okay i don't i don't want to throw you into my experience but you start thinking about your career and i think inevitably as mothers you know our careers get put on pause a little bit especially the more kids i think you have or the more busy your life is you start thinking oh my god like again the comparison of who you were or how things were and how it is now and you're like is my career on pause like what am i doing with my life is this what my life is going to be like like you get lost in the day-to-day -day and you start thinking that this new normal or this new day-to-day -day is going to be forever but the reality is it's so quick when i tell you the first eight months is a blink <laughs> It's gone. Next thing you know, they're trying to crawl up the stairs. They're trying to walk. Like it's such a fast journey. And if you're not careful, especially if you keep wishing for things to be a little different, you're gonna start realizing you're missing it all. If you focus on what you're lacking, you're gonna miss so much of it. And that's so scary to me because some days, you know, I do find myself like I'm waiting for my husband to come home so he takes the baby, or I'm just kind of comparing my life and think about what things or what it used to be like, or I'm focusing on what I don't have. Sometimes I feel like I wish I had a little bit more help, so I'm thinking about, okay, what if I get a nanny? Meanwhile, her, who she is, things that she's doing is passing by, and it's passing by so quickly. Because I don't wanna be a parent that don't enjoy the present. And I, I see with a lot of parents in my life, even with my mom, where you start talking about back in the day, back in the day, things were good. Back in the day, this happened. Back in the day, I was enjoying this. But then when it was happening back in the day, you weren't there, you weren't present. Oh, that is so scary to me. So I typically work in section when I do my mini twist. Oh, you know, I feel like I'm gonna link a video where it's like a little bit more streamlined. It's just straight about mini twist. So it's a very focused video because this is all over the place. We're chilling, we're chatting. And I hope you enjoy that type of one-on-one -on -one time with me. But anyways, let me show you what I just did, okay? I basically just put my hair into some sections. So there's this section, one in the middle here, and then this one that I'm working on. And I like to work in sections like that because it keeps me sane. It keeps things organized. Let's see if she's taking a nap. No. Well, you know what? She's quiet. <laughs> That's one thing I find that kind of stresses me out sometimes with her is she's pretty good with her naps. I'm not gonna lie. Or her sleeping schedule. Like for example, she's not sleeping right now, but she's laying quietly in her crib. And I guess I can't force someone <laughs> to sleep. And this is what I'm realizing with her too. She's her own person. There's things that like she likes or things she doesn't like and she'll vocalize it. <laughs> One thing that stresses me out is the fact that, you know, it's unpredictable some days. Like some days she won't take her second nap. And I think she's getting a little older. She's about to be one. So soon enough, soon-ish. I think like maybe three, four months, we're gonna have to transition out of the two nap schedule that we have. So things are gonna change all over again. Can you believe that? I'm just starting to get used to this little schedule that we got and it's gonna change. I didn't know how to put into words what I was experiencing with motherhood, which is why I haven't really been talking about it. Like I talked about motherhood a lot more at the beginning because you know, a lot was happening. And then it was steady. Like after the eight month mark, it was steady. And lately I've just been so emotional, like I told you guys at the beginning, about the fact that my daughter's turning one and I was just like experiencing all the feels and I didn't know how to put it into words until I spoke to another friend of mine. She's a mom and her kids are older. I think they're like 12 and 16 or something. And, and I was telling her, I'm like, I that first birthday is really making me so emotional. And she was like, yes, like it, it's so hard to describe. And she almost validated what I was going through in terms of feeling so emotional all day and going through all the feels. Like I'm overwhelmed, I'm tired, I'm this, I'm that. And she was like, it's the constant journey that you go through as a mom. And, and for me too right now, I feel like I have this constant worry. Like am I reading enough to her? Am I feeding her enough? Am I feeding her well? What should I be feeding her? What should she be learning? Is she developing well? <laughs> Is she where she's, she's supposed to be? Is she gaining enough weight? Like so many worries all in one day all at the same time and sometimes i'm like jenny gotta calm down <laughs> like she's only one year old like what am i gonna do if this never stops and she was like it never stops and i was like oh my god but motherhood is definitely a beautiful journey it's filled with ups and downs as many ups as there is i feel like there's just as many downs it's one of those journey that's full of good bad and ugly some days you're just like i don't know what i'm doing and other days you're like i'm killing it 
and the day after that you're just so unsure of everything i spoke about it a little bit on my instagram and i said that a lot of moms or not just moms like the older generation you know the women before us they didn't really prepare us when it comes to motherhood you know all the older generation that keep pressuring you talking about where you gonna give me grandbabies they don't prepare us for this journey ahead and you know what i'm gonna give them a little grace <laughs> because where do you start talking when it comes to motherhood and how do you even explain it i feel like sometimes we don't even know how to put it into words which is why we don't say anything so i'm gonna give you all a little grace before you start typing in my comment section i already see you just going at it but at the same time i feel like there's a few things that we could talk about right even birth i find a lot of moms don't even open up and talk about it because it's just one of those things you're experiencing when you go through it but as you're going through it you're already in the thick of it <laughs> like you don't even have time like you're like whoa 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 hold on hold on it's going too fast <laughs> like it would be nice to get a little heads up you know my goodness i personally feel like mothers aren't celebrated enough now that I'm a mom, I realize that. You know we have Mother's Day, but that's about it. We need more. Anyway, let me keep on going. Let me keep twisting. And as you guys see, it goes by really fast. It doesn't take too much time, depending obviously on how small you do them and also how you twist your hair. Because when I twist, I will make the roots a little tight. And then after that, I let my fingers just glide right through. Like I don't make the twist tight. And that actually helps with taking them down as well. Just a little pro tip right there. And I think next time I do them, I may do them with extensions. So they won't be mini. They'll just be twist with extensions. And I think that'll be nice. It's been a while since I actually did my hair with any kind of added hair. And she's not asleep, y'all. She's not going to take her nap. She's been laying in bed for an hour, 56 minutes. Oh, she's sitting down now, oh no. But she's still peaceful, she's still quiet. We're not gonna interrupt her, we're gonna let her be. Hello, it's the next day. Last night I completely gave up on the twist. I actually didn't realize how small I was doing them until I started doing the front. And I was like, oh my God, Jennifer. Jennifer, what are you doing? So, <laughs> I, I, I know what you're thinking. How are you going to take these out? We may never take them out, I don't know. But we're almost done. I have just about this much left, just basically the front. The back and the sides are looking good. Even though I tied them a little crazy, it's still giving. Let me show you the back. Baby is napping, so this is the perfect time to continue. So I think I'm gonna start over here. And I'll do the same thing that I did yesterday. Spritz my hair with some water. I already have leave-in conditioner in my hair, so I'm not gonna add more. But I am using the Carol's Daughter butter. And I have my tea. Let's get to twisting. When it comes to the very front of my hair, I did do like a little flat twist situation just because I am recovering from postpartum shedding. The very front of my hair is super short and then there's the rest. So I am trying to flat twist the front into my twist. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs>
And this is the final look. I obviously love this style. So versatile, so easy. You don't have to do anything with your hair. It's moisturized, it's protected, it's tucked away. All of the pain points that you have in your natural hair, Mini Twist will solve it. It's been about a week since I've had them in. So I'm actually getting ready to wash them. I wanna say the plan is to wash them weekly, but leave them in for three weeks. So I'm probably gonna wash them twice before I take them out. Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will of course see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.